Hi and welcome. In this episode, I am going to be sharing with you my 10 years of experience in working in traditional and online business. We have just celebrated our 10 year anniversary in my gymnastic centers, which was super exciting. And it was literally in the middle of September. And I wanted to bring with you, bring to you my, in the next kind of couple of episodes, my journey as an entrepreneur over the last 10 years. So my name is Katie Cannon, Director of Gold Medal Coaching. And this is a bit of a joint episode today because I wanted to share my story across my different platforms that I have. So you might be watching this on my gold medal coaching site, or you might be watching this under my Katie Cannon site, which is all about my network marketing business. So you might be here because you want to grow your own gyms, your own studios, your own fitness business, your own health and wellness business, or you might be here because you're looking to build an incredible network marketing business. So as I said, this, the next couple of episodes in moving forward are going to be combined episodes because it is my journey, my stories, and both the things that I teach and I coach are very relative to being an entrepreneur in whatever market you choose to be in. So thank you for being here. So let's get going. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I offer a weekly episode for full jam-packed of strategies and tips and advice every single Monday straight to your inbox and straight on my YouTube channel. So make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss a trick. So today is going to be a little bit of a story and all I advise that if you're brand new to my channel, this is actually a really good episode to tune into, to hear about my background, how I came to be where I am today, my my ups, my downs, my failures, what's gone really well, and kind of very much why I'm in the business that I am in today. And to be honest, why I'm the entrepreneur that I am today. So if you're sitting here watching this as a brand spanking new entrepreneur, this is actually a really good episode for you to watch straight away. So for those of you who are regulars and listen to me on a weekly basis, you might know a lot of this stuff. So it might be a bit re- repetitive and a bit, I think oh, I've heard this story, Katie, but it's always good to recap. I always say my favorite saying is don't look at where you've, how far you've got to go. Look at where you've come. And this guys has been a big indicator for me in the last couple of weeks where I've been reflecting. So let me take you back. Story time. Get a glass of wine, get a coffee, whatever you're drinking, fistic, energy drink, whatever it may be, and get relaxed. So my story so far, I was a fresh entrepreneur, I should say 23 years ago, no, 10 years ago. So after being a British champion gymnast, I went to university, I studied sports science and nutrition, came out, was a personal trainer for a couple of years, and then wanted to set up my first business. And this was, you know, I've always been an entrepreneur. I think when you, you've, I've always had, you know, thinking of ways to make money or what can I sell? Or, you know, as a child, I used to sell leotards and make like a 50p profit on them when I was a gymnast or sell clothes. You know, I loved making money. I loved counting money. I remember sitting there being like 10, 20, 30, I've made 50 quid today, you know? And um, I used to absolutely love counting money and I think when you look back at any young entrepreneur's journey it all starts from a young childhood whether you're selling washing people's cars washing people's bikes selling lemonade on the street it always comes from something like that so I set up my first traditional business 10 years ago so it is what it was like the 8th of September 2008 and I was 23 I'll not give my age away here and I was, I had no clue about business. I was a fresh, young entrepreneur. Literally, I think I'd worked in the workforce, like a proper workforce. I'd always coached gymnastics and had a bit of pocket money from a young age. But in a proper sort of paycheck kind of scenario, I lasted about six months to a year. I didn't last very long. I wanted to be doing my own thing. So What did it look like 10 years ago when I started my first traditional business? So my first business was born out of my passion, which is gymnastics. My first gyms, 
It's called Backflip Gymnastics. Back in the day, it was called Backflip Performers. And I'm going to share the story with you a little bit later of in the next episodes to come in the next couple of years, a couple of years, couple of weeks, I'm going to share what went wrong, what went right, what would I not do again, what would I definitely do again, and what were some of the key decisions. So I'll share that little story in the next couple of weeks to come. So it very much started as a business that grew completely out of village halls. My dream was to always have you know, these big, massive premises. And I never forget, and this is one of the things I'm going to share with you, this this episode today is all just an introduction to what's coming in the next couple of weeks. But I always wanted to have that fancy premises and kind of ran before I walked at times. I remember having visuals made and paying a lot of money for that, to have visuals made of what this premises was going to look like. But for the next couple of years, I worked very much out of village halls. I then progressed to having my own gyms and then having a lot of, you know, big team of staff. And then, you know, it very much was a business that I learned from the ground up. I have, you name it, I have learned, I've learned it, I have failed, there has been a lot of tears. I've opened gyms, I've closed gyms, I've learned what marketing works, what marketing doesn't work, how to hire people, how to fire people, how to look for the right caliber of people. That's a biggie how to deal with customers, how to deal with customer service, how to source funding, you know, the list is endless. And I very much say in the last sort of 10 years, I've very much grown up in the business as well. You know, I think very differently today at 33 than I obviously did at 23 years old as a fresh young entrepreneur. And a couple of years ago, because I know this episode is being shared on my network marketing platform as well. So a couple of years ago, I looked into starting my first network marketing company. And, you know, the reason why I, I'm a true believer, we need multiple income streams. And that is why people do always ask me, oh, you have gymnastic gyms and you have other, why are you building other businesses? And I truly believe in today's economy, we need multiple income streams. So in that nutshell in itself, because that my network marketing business falls under the umbrella of my 10 year journey. So my 10 years in traditional business and network marketing, I've been in for three years and building coaching and things online. And the key thing is, you know, traditional business is fantastic. But it also comes with a lot of stresses, a lot of overheads, a lot of problems, to be quite frank with you. <laughs> um, and I always wanted the ability to grow a global business. But I quickly realized with my traditional business that it's not going to give me a great, it can give me a phenomenal income, but it's not going to give me a lifestyle and a life of which I wanted. I've always been an ambitious entrepreneur, but I wanted that balance around family life. So when I started my network marketing journey, that again is not simple in itself. And I'm combining the two for this exact reason. So because it falls under the 10 year umbrella. Um, I very much was like, do you know what? I've been in business for seven years. I've built gymnastic gyms. I can rock at this. Absolutely. Well, I was totally wrong. There was, you know, building a network marketing business and building other businesses. So if you are sitting here watching this and you're an entrepreneur and you've built other businesses and some have failed, some have done really well, you know, it, it doesn't matter. That is part of your journey. It doesn't mean say once you've built one business, you know how to build another. And this is certainly true. You know, my network marketing business was a whole different kettle of fish to building gyms. So it took me a good, you know, a lot of personal development, a lot of digging to learn the skills of how to build another business in a whole different market. But, you know, 10 years on, seven, seven years in the gyms, three years in my network marketing business, my skill set is 100 times better than it was a couple of years ago. And when I look back to 10 years ago in my mindset as a brand spanking fresh entrepreneur, it is incredibly different to how I think today. So if you're sitting here thinking, you're not sure where to start your business, you're not sure where to take your business to the next level, you're not sure where to build a second income into your business, you're not sure of this and you're not sure of that, all I would say, my friend, is stop procrastinating and go for it. 
when I look back 10 years ago, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I was Katie the gymnast. I could do a wicked backflip, a wicked somersault, but I had an amazing work ethic and I was not afraid to fail my way forwards. And that is the key characteristic of an entrepreneur. One billion percent. You've got to be afraid to lose. You can't be afraid to lose money. You can't be afraid to invest money. You can't be afraid of risk. You can't be afraid of failure because I would not be where I am 10 years on in multiple businesses without failing, falling flat on my face, crying a lot. There's been a lot of tears. Yeah. And, and losing money. I've, learned, I've lost a good thousands of pounds in my business of things that have worked and not worked. But you've got to just go with your gut. You've got to go with what you want to do and go for it. Because I always say life is too short. Do not look back in 10 years time. I could have looked back and I hear this a lot in my network marketing business. I'm not ready. I don't know enough. Oh, I'm scared to invest. And I hear it in my coaching business as well. People wanting to build their own gyms and studios and said, well, I'm not quite there yet. Oh, do I know enough? I want to take my yoga business to the next level. Yeah. You know, all I can say, my friends, is 10 years ago, I could have said that. I could have said, you know, I'm not ready. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready to take 50 grand from a bank and build my first gym. I'm not ready to employ people. No, I do not know how to do that. I don't know how to lead people. No, I'm just going to, no, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to read some more books. And then, you know, I would still be reading them books now, 10 years on. That's the biggest thing I see across the board in different businesses is procrastination and people not going with your gut. So I wanted to share my story today. I said it's a very brief overview of where I came from, what I've kind of achieved in the last 10 years, what I've been working on. And the next couple of episodes are gonna be about the strengths, the weaknesses, the what went right, what went wrong, the strategies, the tips. But so this is just the first generic episode to get the ball rolling to really get the inspiration flowing and to really set the scene for the next couple of weeks. So get your pens and paper ready for next week when my next episode launches where I'm going to be talking all about the, 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 the things that went wrong in the last 10 years that I'm most likely, with my head on my shoulders now, wouldn't do and wouldn't recommend to my 23-year-old self. But I always say hindsight is a wonderful thing. And whenever you're making mistakes or anything, don't look back and think, I wish I hadn't done that because that is part of your journey. So I really look forward to welcome you into my story and into my ups and downs of traditional and online business in the next couple of weeks and really delving deep with my story. And hopefully you can get loads of nuggets and loads of wisdom and let my hindsight be completely your foresight so i've got a great freebie at the below of this episode it is basically i've got two freebies for you today Woo! i've got my how to build your own fitness business masterclass so basically how to start fill and develop your fitness business or your health and wellness business. And I've also said, because this is a joint episode with my network marketing business as well, I've included a few links below on that as well. So you can check out what I do on my other platforms and my other business as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Tune in next week because it's going to be absolutely epic. Have an amazing week. For more information, you can find me on goldmedal.coach or katiecannon-.co.uk. See you guys. Bye.